Ladies and gentlemen, this is a difficult moment for America. Up today, we've had a national tragedy. I was in my kitchen having a cup of coffee, and suddenly on the news, they show it. There's an untold loss of life here in Manhattan, the nerve center of America. I saw where the plane hit right away. I worked there 20 years, <laughs> and I knew exactly that it hit on 93, right below our people. I basically was yelling at the TV, get down the stairs, get down the stairs. My phone beeped at 8.56, and my secretary had called me. She was up in the office, and basically her message was, you know, Stuart, something hit the building. We can't get down. There's a lot of smoke up here. Send us some help. Send us some help. But there was nothing Stuart Frazier could do. As the vice chairman of Cantor Fitzgerald, he was getting ready for a business meeting away from the office. Instead, he watched in horror as co-workers, friends, and a brother-in-law died in the collapse of the World Trade Center. We're going to keep praying and hoping that we save as many people as possible. We got a call from my sister-in-law that Eric had called his house and said, I'm on 106, you'll read about it on the news tonight, I'm on my way down. Eric, like hundreds in the office that morning, never made it down. People would call up and be so excited to hear my voice and you could just, you just feel their relief and then I had to tell them that Eric was up there. Stuart Frazier lost 700 employees in the September 11th tragedy and since then his life has been all about rebuilding, rebuilding friendships, rebuilding families, helping to rebuild a company. Through it all though, he has not forgotten about his employees here in Texas. And on this day, he finally gets a chance to meet up with a team that he's always had close to his heart. How's it going? Nice to see you. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Welcome. We're hanging tough. Frazier had planned on visiting his team, the Fort Worth Brahmas, several times this season. Yeah, we'll but see. the events of 9-11 <laughs> kept him in New York. Locker rooms over here. Yeah. Now it was finally time to get away. Um, it's been a, a great distraction for me from my normal business world, and over the six, last six months, it's been a, a necessary distraction for me. Inevitably, the talk turns to what happened that September morning. Frazier doesn't seem to mind. Today, after the first month, people said, "Oh, you're probably done with funerals." Like what? I can go to ten a day for seventy days. This is the way it happened. You just, it's hard to ra rationalize it in your own mind that so many people are gone that you knew. The questions and answers keep coming. A man that lost so much is able to share so much. Uh, when the whole 9-11 thing happened, it was like, wow, he's, he's right there and this is his company. And uh, it was sort of surreal to make you realize that in a weird sort of way, you're just as involved, like you're part of his company. So. It was, uh, it was a different feeling. Frazier has kept close tabs on the Brahmas. They're a playoff team this season. And just maybe they can add a silver lining to what's been a cloudy year for their owner. Hopefully there's a little bit of destiny. Hopefully the team can, can rally around what happened today. And there wouldn't be a, a better ending to a, a really a tough year than to have a hockey team do something pretty special. You know, with the playoffs coming up and uh, for the first time in three years at Fort Worth, we're, we're very excited about our our potential to, to, to go all the way. That would be something. Derek Castillo, NBC5, Fort Worth.